Welcome aboard the International Space Station. I'm astronaut Ricky Arnold, and I'm currently at one of our human research facilities on ISS, where you can see centrifuges, laptops, and other scientific equipment. Across from me is another one of these experiment racks, where you can see ultrasound imaging, more laptops, cameras, other equipment, all stuff that requires electrical power. In fact, we have so much equipment for science and life support that our electrical system has about eight miles or 13 kilometers of wiring to make it all work. So where does this energy come from? Let's have a look. From here in the cupola and through other windows, you can easily see the solar arrays soaking in the sunlight. They are massive. These four solar arrays are made of solar cells, which are purified chunks of the element silicon. Together, the solar arrays contain a total of 262,400 solar cells and cover an area of about 27,000 square feet, more than half the area of a football field. That's huge. When the station is in sunlight, the solar arrays produce about 60% more power than we actually need during the daytime. That extra power goes directly to charging our lithium ion batteries. Now, those batteries are essential because they provide the power we need during the 16 night times we have per day here on the space station. The energy our solar arrays can produce is enough to power 40 homes. And we can maximize the power we generate by rotating the arrays in two axes. One like a windmill to track the sun through the course of the day, the other to track the sun's inclination or its angle in the sky. The space station's electrical power system uses direct current to provide energy for our laptops, lights, water recovery system, and science experiments. Thanks for coming aboard today. Now back to Earth. Subscribe for more space.